Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So in this video, we're actually going to be installing the Auto Solutions Short Shift Kit along with the Auto Solutions bushings. So one thing that I absolutely love doing on my cars are driver enhancing modifications. Anything that makes the driving experience better, I love doing them because it just makes me love the car even more. Now, the most important thing when I purchased this F80 was finding one in manual. DCT is great, I'm not gonna lie, it's a fantastic transmission, but I'm a diehard manual fan and given the way that things are going in this world, a manual F80 M3 was super important to me to purchase and I got one. Now the manual transmission in the F80 is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty surprised about how much I actually liked it. Now previous generations prior to the F80, I was never a big fan of how their transmissions felt. It felt very rubbery, it felt like a wet noodle, it just felt super numb, almost like a game, like a video game. And you can never really tell what gear you're in. It's just, if it was too loose and just, it didn't feel right. I really do like it. And I was surprised to actually feel how notchy it was from the factory. Uh, but I will say there's definitely room and ways to improve this. Here we go. And this is the way that I decided to improve it. This is the Auto Solutions Short Shift Kit. This is handmade by Ronald, who owns Auto Solutions. He makes custom hand-built uh, shift kits for pretty much any application. BMWs are kind of his uh, bread and butter. He makes a lot of these for a lot of previous gens like the E46, E9X, uh, but he does make them for the F80 chassis. But honestly, after all my research, this is definitely the way to go in the F80 for the best driving experience, keeping that OEM plus mindset. Now, yes, I did think about some of the other options, the aftermarket options that are available, like the CAE or the RTD, which are more of a track-oriented sequential type of shifter. They are really cool, but the way that I like to modify my cars, I'm a very, very big OEM Plus kind of person. I like to just improve what's already there. I don't like to drastically change it because honestly, the BMW M3 in general is a fantastic car. There's really not much you need to do to make it better. Just a few areas that need to be touched and I think can be upgraded like the shifter. So going to a full-blown CAE or ITD is fun, but honestly, the more I thought about it, the more I researched, the more I realized that I know myself better than anyone and I would miss actually rowing through the gears. The CAE and the RTD, the sequential type of shifters, you obviously do go through the gears on those types of shifters, but they're really short. And to me, I just, something about it going through the actual gears and feeling it go in and just, you know, the notchiness of the OEM type of shifter, it just won me over. And everybody that I talked to said, hey, you know, that's really cool to do something like that. But in a car like this, and for the way that you enjoy modifying and enjoying your cars, going with the Auto Solutions is definitely the way to go. So ordering an Auto Solutions shift kit is not the easiest thing. And what I mean by that is it's very, very unorthodox way of ordering. You can't just go on his website and click add to cart and purchase. What you actually need to do is fill out a form on his website, answer a bunch of questions, and then he will get back to you, you know, a week, two weeks later, going over the options that you are looking for. Then he'll kind of walk you through the options that he does, what's available, and then kind of guide you in the right direction. So what I was looking for in my shifter was a shorter throw. That was the main focus of it. But I also wanted it a little bit lower than stock. So we went over some of the options and he was mentioning that if you are running the M Performance shifter, which I am, it's actually 13 millimeters lower than the stock shifter. So the normal light up uh, leather shifter that does come in these cars, it is 13 millimeters higher than the M Performance one that I'm running. So he said, if you were to go lower than what you have right now, the OEM heights, you would actually be reducing the throw 30% or more, which sounds good on paper, but at the end of the day, he said going to 30% or more would actually make it kind of a pain in the butt to shift. The ratios and the tolerances of going to 30 plus reduction would actually be too small and too tight and it would actually make it pretty difficult to get into gear. So he was like, hey, we can compromise. We can go between 25 and 30. We could do the 27%. But I was like, hey, you know what? You know what's best, what feels the best in these cars and we'll do that. So he recommended going with a 25% reduction and that is what we decided to go on. So that is what most people choose to go with. That's what I decided on. Now, as for height, again, he said, if you wanted to go lower, you would obviously increase or decrease 
the throw of the overall shifter. So he recommended staying at the OEM height. And since I am running the M Performance shifter, it's already 13 millimeters lower. And to be honest, I never really had a big gripe of the overall height. It wasn't too crazy. I never thought it was too high or anything like that. So we decided to leave it at the OEM height and uh, running the M Performance shifter, which again is 13 millimeters lower and the 25% reduction. So that is what we're looking at here. 25% reduction, OEM height, and it looks beautiful. The overall quality and craftsmanship of this entire piece is pretty darn amazing. Very, very well made. He actually engraves your serial number in there. So really, really nice. At the top here, exactly like OEM. So you can run OEM shifters on here. Uh, really, really nice. I'm really happy with the overall quality. I will say it does take quite some time to receive this. I ordered this back in April. It is now just about to be July. So it took me, uh, I think it was almost two, a little over two months to get it. So if you are in a rush to get something, this is not the way to go. He does production runs, so it does take a little bit of time. But if you're not in a rush and you want to get the best of the best, I do think it's worth the wait. This is a really, really nice piece and I'm looking forward to getting it on. Two other things that we're going to discuss. These are actually his 95A front bushings. I was telling him that I'm a really big fan of the numeric Porsche shifters. I really like the notchiness and the direct feel of that and the mechanical feel. And he was like, hey, if you really want to get as close as possible to that, the really mechanical and directness, uh, like a shifter like that, go with the 95A bushings that he provides. This is the most stiff and the most direct option you can go with. So we decided to add these onto the kits and here they are here. So it's gonna make this feel really, really nice, really direct, really, really notchy, just the way that I like it. Also, this was not included in this kit, but you can see right here, I have the Turner Motorsports rear shifter bushing. Now I actually asked Ronald about this. I was like, hey, I've had this for quite some time. I've never installed it. Do you recommend installing it on your kit? And he actually advised against it. He was saying that if you want the most direct feel and you want the best you know, mechanical feel in my shifter, use the front bushings. You don't need to install this. Although I have talked to some people that do have this installed on their M2s or M3s or M4s, and they are running this as well. And they said it is fantastic and feels great. So I don't know, I'm back and forth on if I'm going to install it or not. I've had this sitting around for like seven months. I don't know why I haven't installed it. I honestly just haven't had the time and I just kind of forgot about it to be completely honest. It is not that pricey. It's only around a hundred bucks or so. So it's not the end of the world. Now my theory is if I want to install it, I can install it at a later date myself in the garage. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, but I don't know, I'm back and forth. If you are running an auto solution shift kit and you do have the Turner Motorsport rear shifter bushing, let me know, let me know what you think and if I should do it as well. So as for getting it installed, I'm a big fan of do it yourself. Everything on the car that you have seen, I have done myself, I have built in the garage. The only thing I haven't done is the Gintani crank hub. For something like that, I left it up to the professionals at Auto Couture Motoring, fantastic job. Did a whole video on that. But everything else, 99.9% .9 of it has been done myself in this garage. I'm a really big fan of handling and doing that kind of stuff myself. I love modifying cars, but installing a shift kit on an F80 or an M3 in general, is not the funnest thing in the world. There's a lot of things you need to remove to get to where you need to be. So I'm a kind of person that when it comes to installing something that I'm not 100% comfortable with, I'm okay with handing it over to professionals that know what they're doing. I don't mind spending the extra cash for labor to get it done properly, just to avoid the overall frustration and obviously my time, you know, time is really important to me, me being a dad and everything. So sometimes doing modifications just isn't worth my time and rather a professional do it. So we're going to be going to up to Auto Couture Motoring, getting the shift kit installed along with something else over there as well, which will be another video, uh, but they're gonna be handling the install and getting it done for me and I'm really, really looking forward to it. I figured I would take you guys along. I wanted to explain what we're doing first, why, what is it and everything. And then we can go into more detail of what I think about it once it's installed. But let's head up to the shop. I'll get some clips in the car, driving up and everything. And then I'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit. Good morning, guys. We are headed up to Auto Couture right now. It's a beautiful morning. It is uh, 7.08 AM, 69 degrees. And it's been a very nice drive so far. So we are getting the downpipe as well as the Auto Solutions short shift kit installed. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I'm kind of doing two videos at once. So hopefully we can kind of split this up into two videos. But let's head up there, get settled and uh, get everything going. And then I'll catch back up with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm actually just about to leave Auto Couture. I wasn't going to record anything, you know, until I got home, until I got some experience with it. But oh my God, 
This shifter is amazing. Absolutely incredible. The notchiness is top notch. Holy crap. I was not expecting this to be this perfect. This honestly reminds me a lot of the numeric shifter in the Porsches. It is that notchy. It feels so, so, so good. I am incredibly happy with this. One thing I'm noticing right away is the increased drivetrain noise. You can definitely hear it. It sounds like a, I mean, it sounds like a race car. It's crazy. And for what I use this car for, this is incredible. I absolutely love it. There is no mistake of which gear you're in. Oh, I can't get over this. This sounds so good. <laughs> So it's a few hours later. I hit a lot of traffic and I didn't want to kind of talk through it as I'm sitting in traffic for the for two hours. So so it's a few hours later back in the car and uh, I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts. I got a little bit better angle now so you guys can see the shifter, but I'm telling you, this completely, completely changes the overall driving experience of this car. The F80 manual transmission factory is decent. It's not that bad, it's pretty easy to drive. It is somewhat notchy, but there's a lot to be imagined. You know, putting some bushings in there can definitely help. But doing the Auto Solution short shift kit, holy crap, night and day. This, no joke, as I mentioned earlier, feels like the Porsche numeric shifter. And that is saying a lot because I am in love with that thing. Insanely notchy, this doesn't even compare to my STI with the car boy short shifter. This is just unreal how amazing this feels. And I decided as well to have them install the Turner Motorsport rear bushing while they were there. It's obviously, why not? I have it, I know I was gonna end up doing it. So we have all the bushings installed, 25% reduction, OEM heights, 95A bushings up front with the Turner Motorsport bushings out back. As I was driving home, I had a lot to think about. And what I started realizing is that the F80 from the factory is pretty, I don't want to say muted, but it's pretty soft. You know, there's nothing crazy about it when you're considering the older generations of how raw they are. And, you know, the F80, it does feel more raw than the G80. I guess as it progresses and as the new generations come out, they do feel a little bit softer, a little bit watered down, if you will. But the F80, is, it's a good mix between old school and new school, as I mentioned in my kind of one year video. What I have been doing to this car is actually making a pretty good car into a really good car. What I mean by that is I'm taking all the numb and soft you know, aspects of it out of the equation and putting in more raw stuff. It's making this car honestly feel like my E46 M3, which is a pretty darn raw car which I love. So it's making this whole experience that much better. It, it truly feels like my E46 now, just the rawness of it. I can hear the synchros in the transmission. I can hear the gear shifting. You can just hear so much more noise. Honestly, when I first started driving, I was like, man, do I have active sound turned on or something? Because I'm hearing so much more induction noise. I'm hearing so much more transmission noise and just so many more things going on. And I started scratching my head. I was like, my God, I can't believe know how much more NVH and how much more noise I actually hear just from doing the shift kit and the bushings but it's it, no joke it sounds like a race car in a good way this just makes this experience so good I will admit if you drive your car every single day and you want something like this I do recommend going with a little bit softer bushing don't go with the 95 maybe go with the 90 or the 85 just to kind of soften things up so there's not as much NVH because um, I can see this, I don't want to say get annoying, but I can see it, you know, being a little bit uh, of a nuisance in a way, uh, driving it every single day, especially if you like your cars a little bit quieter. For me, I like the noise. I like to hear the feedback. I like to, you know, feel like I'm driving the car. Right now, this car just feels insane. And the short shift kit is just top notch. I am so happy with this. Auto Couture, once again, absolutely killed it. Darian, everybody there, Jeff, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. I love going there. Not to mention, there were so many awesome cars there today. So cool. Got to hang out with the GT3 RS and a bunch of different cool G80s and everything. Got to hang out with my buddy Jeff, go to lunch, and 
I actually get to drive his new G80, his Atlantis Blue G80. Beautiful. And uh, it was just a good day. So again, a huge shout out to Auto Couture, Darian, everybody over there. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I'm looking for reasons to go back there just so I can hang out there and see some cool cars and be around some cool people. But uh, So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy the car a little bit more, enjoy the drive, turn the camera off, and then uh, I'll meet back up in the garage. I'm going to do a back-to-back -back comparison of the throw and honestly try to get you some of the sounds and everything of the clicking noise of this one compared to stock uh, once we get back in the garage and then we'll wrap the video up there. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we are back home. As you can see, it has been a few days since I've gotten the shift kit installed and I have been driving it every single chance that I can get. It honestly, I mean, I love this car to death, uh, but since I installed the kit, I am looking for excuses to drive this car. It's that good. It truly, truly just makes this car that much better. From the induction noise, from the inventory intake, obviously the S55, just the overall noises and everything is fantastic. The exhaust, and just now the transmission noise, oh, it's so good. It makes this car feel the way that it should. It feels like a proper M car now, to be completely honest. Not that it didn't before, but now you really feel connected to the car. You hear the whine of the transmission, you hear the synchros going, you hear it go into gear, and just everything else going on. It's such a visceral experience that it just totally changes this car for the better. Going back and thinking about this car completely stock, it seems very, very just kind of, I don't wanna say boring, but just very plain, you know, not much going on. It's very quiet in the interior, which is good in its own way. But the way that I like my cars is I like to feel the car. I like to experience it. I like to, you know, know what's going on and hear everything going on. It makes it that much better. And doing the shift kit alone, it's just, it's, it's pretty amazing how much better the driving experience is just from that. I mean, the car drives phenomenally to begin with, but my God, if you guys are looking for the best driving experience, the Auto Solution Shift Kit is definitely the way to go. Now, as I mentioned, there is definitely some increased NVH. You can actually hear some of it uh, when I was driving in the car and I was kind of talking through it. You can definitely hear more things going on, as I mentioned, but if you're looking for a little bit quieter experience, you don't want to hear all the NVH and all the kind of transmission noise and all that, I would definitely recommend going with the softer bushings that he recommends, the 85s or the 90s. The 95s is what I have, plus the Turner Motorsport rear bushing. It definitely increases things kind of tenfold. So if you're looking for a little bit quieter experience, I probably would recommend the 90 if you want something a little bit quieter and you still want the direct feel. The uh, 85, I obviously haven't tried it, but I think it would be a little too soft for my liking. I think the 90 would be perfect for somebody that wants the direct feel like mine, but doesn't want the extra noise. So the great thing about it is Ronald offers all those different options for you guys and he'll talk you through all of them in detail. His emails and his responses are very, very detailed and very long because he explains things, which I can definitely appreciate. You know, he's not trying to sell you on anything. If you don't want to do it, he doesn't care. He just wants to make sure he gets you the right product, kind of the right feel that you're looking for so you can be happy and enjoy the car to the fullest. So just for reference, this is the stock shifter, the arm, the bushings, everything that we took out and we replaced. Obviously, this is the full shifter. Same exact length as the Auto Solution, so this is exactly the same. Uh, but the arm here, if you guys were able to remember, a little bit different, a little bit more robust. Uh, it's made, I forget what it's made out of, but it's kind of the gold brassy kind of color. Um, and then this is the rear bushing, which honestly, I can just move with my finger. <laughs> It's made of rubber, so this thing obviously can wear out over time, whereas the Turner Motorsport one is made of poly, and that thing will probably last longer than the car. So definitely, definitely a huge upgrade with this alone. And these are the front bushings that, um, the stock front bushings, I can almost squeeze these, whereas the ones included or you know extra with the Auto Solutions kit, they have a brass insert sleeve inside the actual bushing and the bushing is made of poly, so way stronger, way more firm, so you can definitely understand why there is much more NVH, much more kind of whine and noise from the transmission inside the car. All right, so we're in the car, obviously, but listen how much more clicky and direct it is. It's just, it's insane. And watch, watch it go back into neutral. It's, it's so direct, it's crazy. Reverse. It's, oh, I love it. And the thing I love about it as well is that there's no movement when it's in neutral. It had so much more movement front and back and side to side. This hardly moves. This is just, it's so amazing. You can feel it 
just go right into gear. And plus the throw, I mean, how much shorter it is, a 25% reduction, it's so good. It is the perfect amount of reduction without being too crazy. But man, oh man, this just, I can't get over this. If you guys are looking for an absolutely incredible shifting experience in your F80s or any M3 for that matter, I cannot recommend the Auto Solutions Kit enough. Again, as I mentioned, it's a little bit kind of a hassle to order it since it takes so long, but good things come with time and patience is a virtue, that kind of thing. Uh, if you really do want one of these, it's gonna take a little bit to get it, but it is 110% worth the wait, the cost, and obviously the install if you pay for it or you do it yourself. Either way, it is super rewarding, and geez, I can't get over this thing. I cannot wait to go out and drive this car even more. It truly, truly changes the whole experience for the better. So here is a quick comparison between stock and the Auto Solutions Shift Kit. I'm sitting in the driver's seat, I'm not driving, I'm just going through the gears so you guys can see the reduction and also you can hear the little bit more click and visceral sound from the Auto Solutions comparing to stock. Stock is good, but the Auto Solutions is just night and day, so much better. It's such a more direct and clicky feel, oh, it's so good. All right, here's the comparison real quick. So yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. I hope you guys enjoyed the whole entire experience as much as I did because I am in love with not only the Auto Solution Shift Kit, but the entire car. It just brought everything together. And man, I'm so in love with this car. Such a good feeling, everything about it, such a fun experience. And for what I use this car for, which is just for fun, for weekends, for nicer days, I always want that experience. I want something special when I get in the second car, the special car. So having all this put together and just making it a complete package just makes it so, so good. There's probably gonna be a lot of questions on this. I know this is a very, very popular uh, kind of modification to M3s in general. Not a lot of people end up doing them because of the labor and just the involvement it takes to get that installed. On other cars, it's much easier. On my STI, I literally did it in about 45 minutes on my own car, and it's pretty much done all through inside and the interior. So I understand why not a lot of people do it, but I guarantee you if you're looking for the best experience in your M3 and you really want that notchy, direct, really, really good feeling shifting, 100% Auto Solutions is the way to go. Now, as I mentioned, the ordering process is a little bit different, so take your time. You know, talk to Ronald, go through all the options, make sure you know and kind of get what you want. He'll help you out. But I assure you, if you're looking for something like this, you will be nothing but happy. It's incredible. So if you guys have any questions at all about the shift kit or anything else on the car, please let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.